Episode five, Miami Dolphins Mythbusters. Are we cursed? What is up, Finn fans? Episode five, Miami Dolphins Myth 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 Myth, 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 myth. Miami Dolphins Mythbusters. I'm keeping that in because that was a complete and utter 100% brain fart. But yes, episode five. You guys, a few of you guys hit me up about this myth, so I'm going to address it. I did a lot of research, looked into multiple sources. We're going to talk about it. It's a Saturday. I hope you're all hanging out. It's not bad here in Jersey, but I hope you guys are doing good. Real quick, before we jump into the video, like usual, I got to shout out my guys at patchvibes.com. Be sure to check them out. They got a ton of great patches. You can use the promo code DDW, get 20% off. Also, I have a new Patreon been a minute but i do appreciate niles for joining the patreon he is one of my new mods if you want to join the patreon it is linked below what it is because i have a new a bunch of new subscribers maybe you don't know what's going on with patreon you don't know what my patreon is all about there's different tiers you, all three tiers you get to join the discord i do have a discord where a bunch of you guys are hanging out chatting i come on there chat with you guys i do video chats i'm going to do vo i do voice chats i'm going to do a ton of things when i get the time also, you get special content over there that you don't get here. I did a tour of the office. I do special videos. If you guys ask me, hey, can you talk about this or hey, that, I will do a special video for you. I try to do two a month, so be sure to check that out. But yes, you can, one, you get, join the Discord. Another one, you become one of my mods. Another one, when I go live, I'm going to have you on as a guest and we're going to talk Dolphin stuff. So be sure to check it out. If you like it, if you want to join, by, by all means, don't feel like you need to. Don't feel like you need to. It does help drastically supporting the channel. Helps us upgrade the channel. Helps me do this so much more for you guys. So if you want to, it is linked below. But again, I never, ever want you guys to feel like you need to do these things. Hitting that subscribe button. Watching the videos. Hitting the thumbs up. Sharing the videos. That's all I ever need you to do. But if you want to, it is linked below. But we're going to talk about the Miami Dolphins. There's a rumor going around. That's why it's a myth, and I'm going to try to bust it. The Miami Dolphins Stadium, Joe Robbie, then Dolphin Stadium, then Hard Rock, Sun Life, was built on an Indian burial ground. Is that true, right? Let's talk real quick about the history of this stadium. The Dolphins originally played in the Orange Bowl. They played there for about 21 years. That's where the Super Bowls were won. That's where the undefeated season was played, was the Orange Bowl. A very historic, great stadium. 1987, they decided to, Joe Robbie decided to build his own stadium. This is his exact words. 1976, the city of Miami wanted to quadruple our rent. That did it. I began thinking in earnest about building a stadium. Joe Robbie built himself a stadium in 1987. Joe Robbie Stadium was built, which is now the Hard Rock Stadium we know. A lot of renovations, a lot of upgrades. But this was the first uh, multi-sport stadium ever built that's entirely privately financed by Joe Robbie. He didn't go through the city. Because the city was already trying to, you know, double the rent, quadruple the rent with the Orange Bowl. So he decided in 1987 to build his own stadium. He built it with the idea of eventually having a baseball team, which they did. Eventually playing soccer, which they did. And having the Miami Dolphins there. So that being said, the stadium was built in a way that the it was wide. It was super wide to accommodate for soccer, to accommodate for baseball. And... They, it wasn't a very interactive with the fans, especially when it came to football. When it comes to football, you want that front row to be as close to the sideline as possible. But with this Dolphin Stadium, Joe Robbie, and you know the, all the thousands of names that it's became, it's very wide, right? So with that being said, 1991, my, the Marlins became an expansion team with the uh, MLB. Boom. They became the stadium. And if you guys remember back in the 90s or even in the early 2000s, before uh, that, in 2015, the Marlins got their own stadium, you always had that during the, the crossover of the two seasons of baseball and football, you always had that patch dirt in the middle, kind of like the, the Raiders, Oakland Raiders, old uh, the Oakland A's, how they shared their stadium. 
and you had that patch around like the center field where is the patch of dirt right so like i said in 2015 the marlins got their own stadium so what did the, joe uh what did uh stephen ross do he with his own money 350 million dollars renovated the dolphin stadium which is now the hard rock stadium started putting the canopy on it put new seats in has the undefeated section and all this great stuff i've been there with the new renovations it's absolutely beautiful stadium if you haven't been there yet you gotta make your make a point to go to a home game in dolphin stadium or hard rock i still call it dolphin stadium hard rock a thing of beauty with the renovations right that being said give you a little brief history of the stadium is it built on an Indian burial ground? <laughs> now, the Dolphins have had some some bad luck since 1987 to now, right? Haven't been to a Super Bowl. You had Marino, Terry's Achilles. They've won a lot of games, though. So that's why this curse is kind of a myth. Because they've won in the 90s, they won a lot of games. Went to a lot of AFC Championship games. Won the division a bunch of times. Had a great record, right? So is it a myth? Even the Marlins in this stadium won two championships. They won a championship in um, 1997 and 2003. So is it built on an Indian burial ground? Yes. It's confirmed. This myth is confirmed. I have 1985 construction started working on the stadium. They broke ground and they found uh, Tequesta, Tequesta. T-E-Q-U-E-S-T-A, Tequesta Indian Artifacts, where the Dolphins, where, you know, the organization was breaking ground on the stadium. May of 1985 and then December of 1985, they continued the construction and uh, put the stadium there. Now, a lot of people are like, well, the Dolphins are building on the burial ground. That's why we have bad luck. Yes. But in between, after May 1985, where they found... Uh, the artifacts and they found the remains they brought in archaeologists and were very thorough in removing all of the um, artifacts removing all the remains being very thorough and very um, diligent and respectful um, that's why they continued the build in December of 1985 that being said though it is Dolphin Stadium is built on an Indian burial ground. 100% is built is built on that. And you might be asking yourself, well, are we cursed? I don't know, <laughs> to be honest with you. The Dolphins haven't really won anything big since moving there. The Hurricanes haven't won anything big since moving there in 2008 because they left the Orange Bowl and came and played at, you know, the Dolphin Stadium, Hard Rock Stadium, Sun, Sun Life, whatever you want to call it. The Hurricanes are 89 and 60 and haven't won anything since, you know, moving there. Also, you might be saying to yourself, like I said, the Marlins. But, Doug, the Marlins, 97 and, and 2003, have won championships in that stadium. Yeah. But some people like to call the Miami Marlins a troll of uh, that stadium because, yeah, they won those two championships. But then they went and they tore down the stadium where the Hurricanes and the Dolphins won a ton of championships just to cost the you guys, whoever lives in Miami, billions of dollars to build a new stadium for the Marlins to have their own stadium just for them to suck. <laughs> so, again, to reiterate, is the Miami Dolphins built uh, stadium built on an Indian burial ground? Yes, it is. Is it affecting the team and do the Dolphins have bad luck? Well, since 1987 till now, you can just look at some of the things that have happened. Choosing Drew Brees, uh, Dante Cup up over Drew Brees, 2017 season with the Hurricane and Timmons going AWOL and the O-line coach. And there's a lot of things that you can look at. It's just bad luck. Some players going to the other team, winning Super Bowl. It's just, it's craziness. But yes, this this myth is confirmed. The Miami Dolphins here stadium is built on Andy Barrow Grand. Hopefully, they can do something. Hopefully, that Stephen Ross knows about this. He could do something to counteract it. Maybe contact the again. I don't want to mispronounce their name wrong, but it is uh, Tequesta, Tequesta Indian a tribe, and maybe have the patch something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it is. But be sure to comment below uh, if you like this myth. 
what do you think of this myth being confirmed? If you have any other myths, I have a few myths I still have to get to. But if you have any other myths, again, there's a difference between something that's fact and there's something that's myth. You know, is it a rumor? Is there a rumor going around about it? Comment it below and I'll see if it's a, if it's confirmed or busted. Now I'm going to get to comment of the day. This comment comes from the ghost of Adam Gase. That, 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 that ghost is haunting us. He says, comment of the day. Should we bring in Alex Smith if he doesn't cost much in place of Fitz if he leaves big brain? Um, I've heard this and, you know, Alex Smith is going to be testing free agency. He's not going to be back with the Washington football team. And uh, a lot of people have commented this. A lot of people have asked me, especially with my free agent video, where I talked about bringing in like a veteran leadership as that backup role. And yes, I would love for Fitz to come back, but the signs are pointing towards Fitz isn't coming back. Kind of wants to start somewhere. Kind of wants to do something different. Here's my thing. Alex Smith going through what he went through, coming back, playing, doing decent. I don't know if I want to have two quarterbacks that are coming off of major injuries because God forbid Tua gets hurt and then God forbid Alex hurt Alex Smith gets hurt. Then what? You know what I'm saying? The backup is supposed to be there to, you know, God forbid something happens to the starter or whatever. He comes in and he's able to continue to play. Not saying Alex Smith can't, but that injury scares the crap out of me. Compound fracture, then the infection that almost, you know, lost his leg, took his life. Had a lot to go through. I'm very happy for him that he is playing, but I'm not bringing in Alex Smith. I'm kind of... Staying away from that one. Hey, if you disagree, comment below. Let me know. But I don't know. I just, his injury just scares the crap out of me. And I don't know. You know, he's a good, if he never injured, if he never injured his leg, I think he would have took the Washington football team to some division titles. And I think he would have played really, really well for them. It's just that injury and just, oh, makes me nervous. So now, I'm, I'm me personally, I'm staying away from Alex Smith. But be sure to comment below. Let me know. Do you guys want? The Dolphins potentially bring in Alex Smith as that veteran backup or that veteran competition for Tua. Be sure to comment below. But that's the video. This upcoming week is the last week before free agency starts. Like I said, the 15th is the tampering period and the 17th at 4 p.m. is the start of the season. So next week, I'm going to delve more into free agency. There'll probably be more cuts, more moves that I will talk about. So this upcoming week, I have a ton of videos planned. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out Miami Sports Music, fantastic YouTube channel and website that I'm a part of, TD is a part of, Solo D started it. Be sure to check it out. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Like usual, stay classy. Fins up.